So, uh, yeah, you got the start uh, against Ecuador. Uh, how, how do you think you fared out there? Um, I mean, personally, I know I've played better, but uh, I think it was all right. Seeing that the team, it was the first week the team got together. We didn't have many training sessions with the whole squad. So I think uh, as a team, we did we did well. We got chances. The, the two goals that we got against us, I mean... Of course, the, the first corner we were a little unorganized, but the second one you can't really do much about uh, a shot like that. So other than that, I think we did well. I've, I'm happy with the team. I'm happy with the guys that are in or like, that got called in. I mean, I think we have a great squad. I think we'll do, uh, we'll do well in the World Cup. How was, how was the communication back there, especially because on the back line, communication is obviously big, uh, and since you guys had only been together a few days, how, how did that work yeah, out? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge part of uh, being in the back line. Uh, Every day it's getting better. You notice it in training. You notice it uh, in the game. I mean, of course, it, it has to get better for the Gold Cup. That's that's for sure. But uh, I think we're on we're on the right track. That's for sure. And uh, I mean, up until recently, I mean, uh, you weren't honestly. You kind of been in and out of squads, but it looks like something about you is Stephen really likes. <laughs> and what's uh, what's what's he seen that? Uh, um, I I hope he's seen you know the hard work that I put in. Uh, I enjoy coming into camp. I always, when I get called, I always come in. Uh, a couple times I've been out just due to injuries and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, in, in in the club aspect, I don't play a lot on the on the right side. So when I do come into camp here, maybe it takes a while just to to get that frame of mind again. But I I do enjoy playing right back, and I think uh, I think I do have what it takes to offer the team some help. To, uh, to be successful in the future. And so, um, with the Gold Cup, I mean, World Cup qualifying could be just a few months right after the Gold Cup, and we obviously saw more yellow than red out there. And, and a home <laughs> crowd is, is you've, we've seen how whole much a home yeah. crowd in World Cup qualifying helps. How much do you think the Gold Cup, a good performance there, will get more people up for World Cup qualifying? I, to be honest, I'm not sure if it, if it would change a lot of things. I mean, we saw, I was kind of surprised by the by the crowd in Toronto. I mean, coming out of the tunnel and then you see just just yellow. I mean, the the one corner of supporters were great. Uh, I mean, my hat on, my hat goes off to them. They they made some great uh, noise the whole game. But uh, I mean, for World Cup qualifiers to play in your own country, you need to fill a stadium with red. That's I mean, that's how it's got to be. So. Um, I hope with a good performance in the Gold Cup, I'll change it, but I'm speculating. worried that it won't. Are you just sort of feel that even in World Cup qualifying, it's going to take some, some wins even at that point? To, yeah, to I mean, it, it's definitely going to take some home wins. I mean, that's that's definitely for sure. I think if we have more games in, in Canada, more wins in, in Canada, then maybe that'll start changing things. Now, uh, obviously, you, you guys picked up the win against Belarus in the previous friendly before Ecuador. Uh, it might not have been, you know, you just mentioned that uh, you, the guys had just come into camp for the Ecuador game, but you still ground out a result. Just what do you think this team is capable of into, into the Gold Cup and beyond? Um, I think we'll be uh, a surprise for a lot of for a lot of people. I mean, uh, we're not really on the on the map of a lot of people expecting us to do to do great things in the tournament, but I, I think we'll surprise a lot of people. Thanks a lot. Thank you.